Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 21 of the Math Proficiency Test for Teachers in Ontario. We're asked to describe the sum of 11 over 5 plus 1 over 7. Is it equal to 1? Is it equal to 2? Is it between 1 and 2 or is it between 2 and 3? So before we get going, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button below and you can click the little bell as well to receive the notifications for future videos. It's probably the best way to support me and this channel. So the first step to solving any problems is to understand what's going on. To here we're adding fractions. So what do we need for fractions? You can you you need a common denominator. So we need a common denominator denominator and the the two links above they'll be found in the description below but they're just Khan Academy videos for how to add fractions so if you need more help you can watch these videos and give it a shot so it's extra resources in other words so step two here is to just do the work we need the the two fractions so it's 11 over 5 plus 1 over 7 what's our common denominator well in this case, or in general, let's say we have a over b plus c over d. We can do a we can get a common denominator by multiplying by d on top and bottom, and for the first fraction, and multiplying by b in the second fraction. We're allowed to multiply by this because d over d is just one, and we're allowed to multiply by one since a times one is just a. And then if we would simplify this out, we would get a D over B D and then C B or B C over B D. Now we have the common denominator denominator. We can just add across and it would be A D plus B C over B D. So that's a very general format, but don't worry too much. It'll be way more concrete when we do this example. So in other words, we can multiply the denominator. Sometimes that won't be the least common denominator, but it'll always get the job done. So here it would be times five times five. And again, five divided by five is one. That's why we're allowed to do that. So we would get 77 over 35 plus five over 35. So see how our denominator is 35 now? We have our common denominator. We can just add across. So that's 75, uh, 77 plus 5 over 35, which is, let's see, 3. So that's 82 over 35. Now, it's not 1. It's definitely not 1, right? So we can definitely say it's not 1. It's not 2, because then that would be 70. Um, let's just take a note. So that would be 70 over 35 that's equal to 2 so it's just a little bit over 2 so as a result it's not between 1 and 2 and it has to be between 2 and 3 so I'll just write uh, 82 over 35 is greater than 70 over 35 and that's why we know it's this one so we're done we found the answer but to build intuition here what we could do is a few things we could actually divide it out right we could do 82 divided by 35 and we expect that to be 2 and 12 over 36 would be exactly one third so maybe 12 at uh, 2.30 or something like that and it's 2.34 so it makes sense 12 yes okay yeah, yeah that makes sense and then um, we could also do a number line. So if you watch the second video, that would help as well. You would realize that, for example, you have a zero, that's zero over 35. So maybe I'll put them on top. So we have zero, one, two, and three, and then 
on the bottom that would be 0 over 35 that would be 35 over 35 and then that would be 70 over 35 and then you need to add another 35 so that would be 105 over 35 and you can see that 82 over 35 is probably somewhere in here so that's 82 over 35 which is between 2 and 3 so we we can conclude that as well and that's it for this question thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video of do the work